Hey, uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the five mistakes, the five mistakes that most agents are making when it comes to doing their website. And we're going to be talking about that right now. Hey guys, this is Paul Kim with uh, K Mattis Marketing, and I wanted to uh, do a video today. Uh, just for those that are wondering, this is, uh, I'm wearing back my headset because I have this Audio Technical mic uh, and it broke, it stopped working. Um, it might have been because uh, uh, my son accidentally was playing on the computer and uh, bent, or it could have been me. <laughs> so, uh, bent the USB connector. And so I'm going to try to see if I could get the XLR to work. But for the time being, I am going back to my headset. So, uh, but nevertheless, I'm here to provide value. So today I'm going to be talking about five things that a lot of uh, agents, it could also apply to investors as well, but I, I am talking because I see a majority of agents doing this. And we're going to be talking about five mistakes, the com most common mistakes that I see them uh, making. And number one is using WordPress as their platform. And not to say WordPress is great, but at the end of the day, you are not getting, you know, as an agent, you know, your goal is not to develop this beautiful website. It, you know, it, it should be nice, but you're going to be wasting your time if you're going to be spending your time um, trying to create your own WordPress website. You may be saving money, but you're not saving, uh, you're wasting a lot of time and your time is valuable because you should be going out and making sales, talking with your clients. And then the other option is I see a lot of agents going to Fiverr and spend a couple hundred dollars and have somebody from Fiverr develop a website using WordPress. Don't go in that direction. You're going to be just going down that path of a lot of dealing with a lot of headaches. So that's number one, mistake number one. Mistake number two is using public website like Wix, Squarespace, or Wibbly, these popular web building platforms. While you are going to save money on monthly on uh, hosting your website on these platforms, you are not going to do yourself a service if your goal is to generate these uh, and generate authority with your website because at the end of the day, you have to hire somebody to create the website and to maintain it. Even though they're great, the, the website that, that you can create with these, these web builder platforms are great. They look great, but I think you're going to definitely do yourself a disservice by utilizing that, okay? So that's mistake number two. Mistake number three is getting a website and not doing anything with it. Assuming that uh, I see a lot of um, people that uh, I recommend the, uh, these two platforms, which is Carrot and Kajabi. Uh, for those links, uh, if you're interested in those two platforms, which I recommend, I do have other videos on my YouTube channel for those. And uh, I'll put those links in the description below and you can go check them out uh, where I did a, um, I reviewed uh, the Carrot platform and why I think it's a great platform for agents and investors. And then also I did a, a, a video using Kajabi where I built a, a website in 30 minutes, literally 30 minutes and I timed it. And I used that um, uh, using Kajabi. Now Kajabi is more for if you have a service-based business, coaching, uh, if you have an online course, Kajabi is an awesome platform, in my opinion. So the links to those videos is right uh, below. Okay, so going back to number three website, getting these websites and, you know, assuming that they're going to ma magically uh, do its thing. It's not. You're going to have to spend time, money. And it's not a lot. It's not like if you're building a, a, a brand new WordPress website, but it's these platforms, like for example, Carrot um, and Kajabi, it's very easy to start um, putting content, doing things to it. So, but you need to either, you have to either pay somebody to get things done or you have to do it yourself in terms of spending your time. Okay, so mistake number three is getting a website and not doing anything with it. All right, mistake number four is I see a lot of agents going from switching from platform to platform 
And there are a lot of real estate website platforms out there. I can name a handful. There's Carrot that I recommend. There's Real Geeks. There's Place. There's Easy Agent Pro, Chime, Sierra Interactive, Market Leader. Oh, name. I can keep on naming a bunch more. But at the end of the day, what you want to do is decide on a website. And a lot, and a lot of times you don't know what which one to, to go for, okay? And so you have to rely on, you know, consultants or people. From my experience, what I found out is that a lot of times there's these websites that has all the bells and whistles, but at the end of the day, you're not ready for those, okay? You're not ready. You want a simple website that could get the job done in terms of uh, online uh, presence, for yourself, for your business, and generating leads online. And so I was able to do that with the Carrot website and able to rank on page one for specific keywords. Now, the mistake that I see people do, that people, the agents are doing are they're getting a website and they have it and then they put a little effort into it and then they, uh, for whatever reason, they don't, you know, they feel like it's not working and they are, uh, they, they, they're spending $150, $200 on a website and then uh, decide not to, you know, stop paying for it. And then they either switch to a small, another platform that's cheaper. But what you've done in essence is you've killed any SEO um, that has been generated for your website. And believe me, you have created some SEO. Not, you may not have created enough to generate leads, but you have created it. And then now you've just switched it. And so your SEO ranking has just now went down. And so I see that many times in uh, the past couple of clients that I've met, uh, that I've, we've uh, uh, had a discussion with, and I saw their ranking went up and then it went down. Mistake number five is that I see a lot of agents make, or, or you know, maybe they're not familiar with it, is that if they're in a, uh, a major, a big brokerage, for example, maybe Keller Williams, EXP, they provide either a web page for them or a subdomain. So for example, it'd be, it could be Keller Williams backslash their name, or in the case of EXP, they have the subdomain Let's say, for example, it could be right before exprealty.com, their name. So it could be HTTPS backslash backslash um, the name of that person, period, exprealty.com, okay? The problem with that is that if you intend to spend time and effort in that uh, generating traffic or getting people to that place, you are helping them you're helping your brokerages generate traffic and indirectly helping them with their their um, SEO uh, per se, you know, in terms of link building, if you're putting your name out there. So what you want to do is you want to get your own domain name. And if you don't have generating a website is not within your budget, then possibly redirecting it for the time being, but I do recommend that you do get your own domain name and then building a website using a, you know, any platform that you, of your choice. In my case, I've said it repeatedly, it's Carrot. Uh, that's my recommendation because it's worked for me. All right, those are the five mistakes that I see a lot of agents are making. And I hope this video was helpful. If you do uh, think it's helpful, please consider subscribing. Write your comments below so that way it gives me more content. If there is questions that I, um, that I can research, I would gladly put this, uh, put the video, create a video for, uh, for that uh, specific question. All right, uh, well, thank you for watching and I hope this video was helpful to, uh, for your business. Bye now.